From a scientific perspective, does the past exist? Gotta be honest, this is one of those we don't know questions. I will say this, in many interpretations of quantum mechanics, the past exists. And the future exists as well. Timelines just exist in their totality. The fourth dimension, time, exists in its totality as much as any of the three dimensions of space. Again, this is just many interpretations. This isn't at all scientific consensus. It just models the way our universe works very well. That being said, in these interpretations, could we visit the past? No. Because the fourth dimension, time, could be looked at as any directional axis. And if you really think about it, can we visit ourselves back when we were in another point in a directional axis is kind of weird. Like, if you say, could we go and visit ourselves in the past, it's kind of like saying, oh, could I go and visit myself when I was still in bed after I wake up and take a shower? Like, no, you can't. You're not in the bed anymore. You've taken a shower. <laughs> if you go back to your bed, there's not going to be another you sleeping in your bed. Like, you can think of our motion through space and time as points in a coordinate system, X, Y, Z, T. And we never retrace the same coordinate points because we're always moving forward in time. We are kind of describing the state of the universe at any given point of time with these coordinates. So you can't just go into the past because at that point, all of the coordinates were different. You aren't the you that are you now. You would have been the you from back then. You would have been that state of the universe. It's kind of like, you know, I've said in other videos, time is just this big, long timeline, and we're just riding on it like a roller coaster. And the you from a second ago is riding behind you, and the you from two seconds ago is riding behind him, and so on and so forth. Everything already exists, all laid out into this timeline, or multiple timelines if you ascribe to the many world theory. It's a big fourth dimensional construct, and this is how we experience it. Again, under this interpretation. It describes how our universe works fairly well, but again, there are competing interpretations.